To write the name for KOH, the first thing we need to realize is this OH right here. It's bonded to a metal. This is the polyatomic ion. It's called the hydroxide ion. So we have the hydroxide ion. It's bonded to the metal here, potassium. So we have a metal, this polyatomic ion, which is made up of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. And we're going to use these rules right here to write the name for KOH. First, we write the name for the metal. So K, that's potassium. Then we write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's the hydroxide ion. So the name for KOH is potassium hydroxide. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you need to recognize potassiums in group 1 on the periodic table. It has a 1 plus ionic charge. And the whole hydroxide ion has a 1 minus. So these balance out and give us a net charge of 0. So we need 1 K, 1 potassium atom, or ion, and then 1 hydroxide ion for it to have a net charge of 0. Also note, when you have an OH, a hydroxide, bonded to a metal, that means you have a base. This is Dr. B with the name for KOH, potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.